Hey guys, welcome. So time for another watch along for Spy Family and this is episode number 12, Penguin Park. And we've reached the end of season one. What a ride, man. Spy Family has been amazing. So like I mentioned, I've been enjoying the manga as well. And I think this episode is going to kind of catch up to where I'm at with the books. We had um, a bit of a cliffhanger last week with the, the dogs. So that's pretty much where I'm up to with the books. So last week, Anya received her first Stella for rescuing a kid from drowning. So it's not just about academics. It's about what you do in the community which can get you one of these prestigious awards. So Anya's got her first one, feeling pretty self-assured and cocky about it. But hey, it's that next step in the operation for uh, Lloyd and Yor to continue their mission. So without further ado, let's dive into the final episode of Spy Family, episode 12, Penguin Park. And while you're here, if you enjoy my content, maybe consider leaving a like or subscribing. And I also have a whole bunch of links down below for my Patreon and my socials in the description box. So come say hi. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. All right, final lap. Wise, the wise agency. Okay. So Lloyd is going to turn up right now. I'm going to buy this. There he is. So she sits in that booth all the time. This is her job. Sitting in, sitting in that booth, waiting for a spy to contact her to pass on information. Okay. That would be boring. But like she said, peace is fleeting. Final app, man. I can't believe it. Penguin Park. I'm not going to read the synopsis yet because I want the show to um, surprise me with what it gives me today. Like I said, I've read the manga, but the adaption's been really good. And like anything, man, like between books and movies, when they make a, a movie from a book, they, they do different things, right? They It's an adaption. They, they're inspired by it. They take the source material and present it. And it's always going to be like the director's vision. It's not going to be necessarily what you read in your head. Same as manga, we've got the panels there, but they're like a storyboard. They're not going to be followed religiously. They're going to be laid out differently in the show. There's music, there's voice work, there's color. It's all about making the the show work as a series. Like you got to have your um your cliffhangers at the end of every episode, so you know you got you got to know where to end it. You you want to be dramatic and introduce characters at a different time. They might be amazing in the manga or not work quite right, and they just tweak it. So yeah, there's always a difference. So watching an anime after reading a manga, it's not necessarily about being spoiled and, and having a, a false reaction. In this case, it's just about enjoying the, the bloody show. Thanks for enjoying it with me. This is just all my observations, of course. So, there was just an explosion. Mission complete. He blew up his stuff. He blew up a thing. Got some stuff. So he's multitasking. And that's about it right now. It's not really the best plan to rely on a child for her to be the linchpin for the success of the mission.
<laughs> an S bomb. This is kind of like a like of a recap a recap episode as well, like catching everyone up on who everyone is because it's the finale. Yike! Hardcore assassin. Oh, he tired? Yeah, he's being worked to the bone. Understaffed. Lloyd needs a nap. Gossip. What? Come on, ladies. <laughs> oh, they've been they've been watching. Yeah, they might call child if they call child services or something. Cover blown. Penguin Park. We're having an outing. You can barely walk, he's so tired. He needs to take care of all these other missions. How many more missions is he doing? He's exhausted. <laughs> he looks like a zombie. His legs. Bloody nosy neighbors causing trouble. We're going on, we're going on an ooting. A very good and normal person. If not a little exhausted. Oh no. Come on, give the guy a break. Dang. Another one. I cannot. I'm going out. Right? He's he's working, he's doing his operation. Oh no. Oh, what a coinky dink. <laughs> Man needs a coffee. Oh shit. The country's always under threat. He just wants a fucking coffee. <laughs> I love aquariums. Last aquarium I went to was in Waikiki. In Hawaii, it was awesome. 
he didn't get his coffee. <laughs> he's going to fuck up. He's too tired. All oh, the neighbors are here. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Weekend mode. What? 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 Is 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 in a penguin? How is he gonna extract the information? Which one? Holy fuck! <laughs> Penguins are cute. How? Which? Poor Lloyd. Two hundred penguins. <laughs> Quit. Go home. Is it a robot penguin? They're real. Oh, she's going to use a telepathy. I'm going to eat some fish. <laughs> Oh. Oh, the... Oh, poor penguin. The thing. It's joking. This is not cool. This is animal abuse. Not happy. Even if it is animated, that's still wrong. That's a very good disguise. <laughs> put, him, put him in a locker. Patilda. Photographic memory. Wow, he's good. Impressive. Maybe you could stay here and just work in the work in the in the aquarium. More relaxing. Oh shit. Food time. Is he gonna speed feed? He's going to speed feed. What the hell? 
<laughs> That's no ordinary newbie. How's how's he gonna Oh that poor penguin? What a fucked up delivery method. Shoving the thing inside the bird. Oh, the poor guy. Save its life, dickhead. This is another. This is a bad evil spy. He's the contact. Oh, we creepy. Hurry, Taylor. H hurry, t Taylor, hurry. Bad guy. Smudges. Is get the thing out of the penguin's throat. It's all gone wrong. Yes, get the film out of the penguin. I've never said that sentence before. <laughs> oh, I love this show. It's so good. Yo, get him. Or Anya. I'm being kidnapped. Uh-oh, she's going to kill that dude. Uh-oh. Kill mode. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's not coming. <laughs> He's not coming down. <laughs> He's stuck in <laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> That was funny. Because it's, it's three times the size of her. Mm hmm. Not that your opinion matters, lady. Mind your own business. Oh. Man, he needs to lay down. <laughs> Ah, oh, see? Yeah. You still have to rest to be able to be efficient at your job. You can't be this fucking exhausted. You're gonna make a mistake. The real guy is now like, what the hell? I don't know the penguin's names. What do you mean, feed, speed feed? What? Guy's gonna get fired. <laughs> the animation is so good. So she is. 
she eats the peanuts. Because they're stuffed toys, they won't eat the peanuts. Okie dokie. She's so cute. I love Anya. She's adorable. She's doing the two, um... Has he had a sleep? She fails at everything else? That is, that's mean. Oh, top secret. Oh, in trouble. <laughs> You scared her, man. Oh, well. She's just having a little tantrum. Lock her in her room and not let her have any dinner tonight because she's being naughty. <laughs> they they they're going to the candy store. <laughs> He's dying on the inside. <laughs> kids, kids, man. Easily manipulated with treats, just like a, a puppy dog. <laughs> oh, that's the end. Oh, man. Oh, when's season two coming out? God damn it. Okay, so, um, in regards to the books, I am up to the part with the, and I, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's about the dogs, which we had a, an ending with last week, and I, I hope I did, hopefully I didn't spoil anything about that, but there's dogs, and I am kind of read that story, so I thought that might have been what this episode was going to be about, but no, they, they didn't touch on that. Is this just like part one of, of season one? Is it going to be like a part two or is it going to be season two? I don't know. Tell me down below in the comments. That's your job. So I thought that was going to cover, like I said, that story of the manga. So I'm not really caught up right now. So depending how many books come out before the next season drops, I could be way more ahead. But uh, that's fine. It was a charming episode. It, was really, it made me laugh. It was funny. I enjoyed it. So in regards to the characters moving forward in the, in the next uh, season or in the books... Surely they're going to have to um, work on Anya's character and, and discover her past, right? Because we don't really know much about why she's psychic. I mean, apart from having experiments done on her, her parents, all that stuff. A bit of yours backstory, apart from Yuri, her stupid brother. So there's still a lot they can do in regards to exploring these wonderful characters in this world. And I'm wondering, obviously, I think... They're going to have to at least uh, learn each other's secrets at some point. I mean, 
when Anya was playing at a spy uh, and just showing the penguin around their their house and he's looking at her going like she's playing at being a spy and he, he just gave her a little bit of a suspicious look like that's dangerously close to the truth how does she, um so you know he's pretty astute and observant so he's got to be getting some suspicions maybe and you're like she's amazing as soon as she sees that Anya is under any threat at all she's going to go into uh killer mode and take care of business like that poor guy he's i think he's still stuck in that ceiling at the aquarium they can't get him out he's still there so obviously we spent a lot of time with lloyd and anya at school but yeah i just i'm hoping the books really dive into uh her history have them find out about her and just really build that team unit and yeah just have, have some fun with uh the knowledge that they all know who each other is like being an assassin a spy and a, and a psychic child so that should be fun and and how they can use that to their advantage moving forward with the operation Strix. anyway that was um season one so far of spy family thoroughly enjoyed it like i said it was just a great time lots of laughs very very cool and i love the character of anya she really kind of grew on me i could see why some people thought she might be grating initially but i found her charming and endearing i mean she's just a kid she does what kids do apart from being psychic and stuff but it was a fun, fun season, and I'm quite happy with the anime adaption. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and if you're here, please consider leaving a like, or maybe subscribing. And also check out my links down below for my Patreon, where I have exclusive and unreleased content, and stuff I cannot put on YouTube, and um, all my socials as well, so come say hi. Alright, catch you next time for whatever I haven't decided yet. will be a surprise. See you then, thanks for watching.